Guys, we are back with the official music video for Yellow Leaf by Jeff Satter. He finally dropped the album. I'm so excited. I have not had time to listen to it because it dropped in the middle of the night for me. And then this morning I was working. So after that, I'm going to take some time, listen to the entire album. I think there's a lot of songs that we already know, obviously, from the album. But I think in total, there's 18 songs and i cannot wait i'm so excited and yeah let's watch this together i wonder if this one is going to be related to ghost and for ghost we had so many fan theories it was so much fun and yeah by the way i just did a duet cover with jeff for ghost so if you haven't watched it make sure to check it out it's on my youtube shorts and yeah i also upload it on instagram so if you want to check that out and i'm so excited yellow leaf let's go i also watched the behind the scenes of ghost but there was no english titles but yeah let's go i haven't heard the song yet so <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love that all the music videos are set in the past. I want to know what he wrote in the letter. Jeff Satcher? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we'll have to come back. <gasps> so it is. So is this the real one or is he the clone then? <gasps> oh my God, he's the clone and he never aged. And he's back. Oh my God, so did they end up getting married? Oh, this is so sad. Stop. <laughs> no. 
No. <laughs> Wait, stop. Okay, so in the tomb, it said the date. I want to see. Okay, so I have one question. Is this entire music video the clone? JS 2054-2143? What? I'm confused. Okay, okay, okay. So, what, after reading all the theories and everything from the ghost music video, here's what I come up with. So, the real Jeff was a scientist and he had to go on a mission in space. So, he was gonna go for a long time. So, in the meantime, for his wife, girlfriend, to not feel lonely, he made a clone and he gave the clone to the wife. So when he was in space, when he came back from space, they took the clone away, but the wife, girlfriend, now started to have feelings for the clone. And then she set the clone free. free. And from the, the ghost music video, it seemed also like the meaning of the song was that even if they loved each other, he didn't mind letting go of her to have a better life. But now, from this music video, what I'm hearing is that she lived her entire life with the real Jeff, but she, she's always loved also the clone. And the clone finally came back. And when he came back, he saw all the photos of the life that he could have had. And then she was on her deathbed and they said goodbye and he proved that their love was real and that even if he's a clone or if he was made by a scientist, he still has feelings and he came to say goodbye and it's bittersweet, it's sad but also it's very beautiful because his love has never stopped and he finally came back, said goodbye and then he leaves again. But what I don't understand is this tomb was so would this tomb be the real Jeff the scientist because how is that possible can he live for 100 years if it's 2054 also I thought this was set in the past and now I wonder is it actually set in the future <laughs> I don't know guys oh my god I hope we get I think from the behind the scenes of Ghost, um, I could like really understand the story even more. So maybe when they drop the behind the scenes for this music video, we'll get to like learn a little bit more. But the one thing is that when she's on her deathbed, the real Jeff is not here. So either the real Jeff is dead or he let her go. But I love how their love is forever. The song in itself is so beautiful. He, I think he really thrives when he does ballads with just one guitar, one piano, just his voice. I mean, his voice is a gift. He doesn't need anything else. So, plus, I feel like when it's stripped down like this, it there's a better meaning of the story. And we can really concentrate on the lyrics and his voice. And his lyrics are so beautiful. I cannot wait to listen to the whole album because I want to know now what type of song is put out. Because from this to Dum Dum, those are so completely different. So from the releases, it says Space Shuttle number 8 has freaking 18 songs. So Dum Dum that we know, Hide we know, uh, Lucid we know. Loop we know. So basically all of his songs that he released in the past are on the Space Shuttle number 8, I'm guessing. So the only one that we don't know are Almost Over You. I haven't listened to that one, but I'll, I'll do a video and we'll listen to the song together. Hopefully they don't block it, but okay. So we need to listen to Almost Over You. And we need to listen to Saturday's bonus track. And then is that all part? Because then the rest we know, right? I feel like there might be another one though. I'm not sure. I need to go actually on my Spotify, guys. Wait, let me... Because it's there. Literally, when I open my Spotify, it says new release by Jeff Sutter. So yeah, hi, Dum Dum, Loop, Highway, Yellow Leaf, Black Tire, Almost Over You. So Almost Over You, I don't know that one. So we need to want to listen to that. So just Almost Over You and Saturdays, that's all there is. 
Okay. Oh my God. I'm so excited. So um, finally freaking album. I'm so happy for him. And yeah, guys, let me know more theories. If you have other theories for this music video, um, that is different from mine. Let me know. And I'm so excited guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.